Alright so everyone, in this video I'll be doing an unboxing of this AMD Athlon 5350 CPU which I purchased from Amazon for £40. So it's another AM1 size budget CPU from AMD. Sempron, the CPU I bought recently, which I'm still using my NAS, that cost me about £25. So, yeah, it's slightly more expensive, but uh, this is a bit faster, it's got a slightly better graphics card built into it in the APU, the Accelerated Processing Unit, they actually call it. But hey, either way, you can still build a quite a nice budget system with these. So open up and take a look at it. So looking at the front of the box first, and I happen to notice it's dated 2012 there. Made in China, diffused in Germany. I didn't think they were making these back in 2012. I'm not sure that's what I'm about. Anyway, there's nothing else much special about the box here, so let's go ahead and open it. So the specs are, it's a quad core, 2.05 GHz, 128 GPU cores, 600 MHz frequency on the graphics card. It can support up to 1600 MHz on the memory speed. 2 meg L2 cache, it's 25 watts TDP. We have a CPU. There's a little sticker, and this would be is it the instruction manual. Yes, the instruction manual on how to fit the awful CPU cooler. I had so much trouble when I fitted the last one of these. I almost broke the motherboard in the process. You know what else I learned about it? Don't put that end on the table. Yes. So we have a triple pin fan, which I mentioned before is not speed controllable. By that I mean it's not dynamically controlled by the amount of processing going on or how hot the CPU is getting. You can only control it within the BIOS as a set speed. Which is better than nothing I know, but I'd rather it was controlled by the motherboard. These are the pins that hold the fan to the motherboard. And they are awful. It would be good if you get some aftermarket CPU coolers, but they're very difficult to find with the AM1 CPUs. So that's it, that's all that's in there. The fan itself is not actually that noisy in my NAS. That's running 24-7. Don't really find it too bad. So that was a look at this AMD Athlon 5350 APU, which I purchased from Amazon for £40. But thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.